Hello guys, Fishing Chef here and in today's video I'll be showing you guys how I dig for gaper clams. To do the digging you need a shovel, ideally a long nose shovel. Most people would use a shovel but I prefer to have a clam gun. The reason why I prefer having a clam gun is because digging with a clam gun has a lower chances of uh, the walls collapsing or the mud collapsing. One of the most hardest part of clam digging is as you dig deeper, the mud surrounding the holes as you dig would collapse in. I guess most people will have a, a shovel and some type of bucket or pipe, a huge PVC pipe that they insert um, insert down into the ground as they dig so that it prevents the wall from collapsing um, but if you don't have anything like that then having a clam gun or ease that problem but won't always prevent it let's start first by looking for them you can stump the ground so that it shoots up the squirts but yeah stumping them will actually trigger the squirt and that's another one See if I stomp, it goes, shoots back down. Same thing here. Stomp here. Oh, there we go. See, even if they don't squirt, you can actually see what the holes are. And you will likely dig the one dig the hole that's bigger so bigger the hole generally means the bigger the clams I'm going to give this a try to see how it's gonna push the clam gun down They are generally two to three feet deep. Yep, I see it. You see it? It's this thing. Yep, it's not too bad. As you get deeper, you gotta be a little gentle so that you don't crush the clam. deeper so as you dig try to put your hands to feel for it see where where exactly they are they're not usually in a one vertical they're not in a vertical straight line got it not too bad they're generally not too deep the smaller one they are generally not as deep as the big ones yeah. Once you finish digging, you want to fill the hole. I got two now. Not too big, but decent. Got two. Um, the regulation is any size of the clams you dig, you get to keep them, no matter how big or small they are. And have each person is allowed up to 10 clams in the California here. What's this hole? I don't usually use the shovel unless it's needed when it's like super deep. You gotta dig up the ground a little bit.
Jesus. Razor cam. Isn't isn't this a big baby razor cam? Man, if that's the case, that's super cool. Release them. Got four. They're not super big. Got another pole here. Should be over here. Push it down with your body weight too. In between each uh, digging, use your arm to feel, feel for it. Just kind of get a general sense of where, where it might be. So you know when not to push it down too hard or dig it, dig it down too hard. And you may also want to have a glove, so there's sharp sharp shells and stuff buried inside the sand and then when you pull the camera use your knee don't don't use your back squat down and pull Side was torn. At least it's not crushed. Feel for it to see just more. Usually, in a group. If they're there going, there could be other ones nearby. Uh, no, not here. I mean, another good thing with clam gun is like, it, because the hole is so small. As you pull it back up, the sand's already collapsed in. Or if there's some water nearby, it will just fill the hole on its own. It doesn't. Uh, it's not like as damaging as a shovel. Here's another one. should be banned now so don't be like those guys Look at that. See, I'm trying to go for my clams again better go away shoot, shoot, shoot. oops but regardless of the condition you have to take it Oh, it's my seventh one. That one? That's a big one. That's a big one. Oh man. 
show you guys how I clean and cook them. Uh, 